all kind of madness going on around here. As far as racing going on, I was wanting to get this. I believe all H case tournament knocked out, but uh, the boys have had to step to the side. I gotta get my cars out to the third race of the year. DCR, Diecast Racing X on YouTube. Check him out. Of course, a lot of you guys probably already do. Red Pills taking the first two wins of the year out there. We're gonna try to make it three. We'll test some of these cars right here. Uh, last race was at North Shore Hills, went into overtime, and I uh, barely edged out Nick Devers, who has dominated that track since it was made years ago. And I won it with my weight too fast. Not this one, though. The one I sent was my second fastest. And this thing right here is my fastest, so. We'll see what kind of times that thing will run versus these six cars, which is what I'm gonna be testing. I'm thinking I might, depending on results. I've had my ass handed to me at this race. The two other years I've entered a Diecast Racer X, actually my first place I ever entered a mail-in or a modified racer at. So I would really like to have a win at every race out there. And this would be the third off of that list I could check if I could pull one out. So uh, anyway, that's what we're going to run. We're going to test here. One from a uh, sweet haul I got. I've been wanting one of these, and I think it's going to be fast. I tested it before that last video. We'll see if it holds the speed. Solar, the newer hot ones, is going to have the super thin axles, which don't seem to perform out there too great. So, what we've got everybody knows these. Everybody hates them. Everybody's got one, I'm sure. And shoot, I've probably got uh, at least a dozen that are cracking these Buick Stockers. This one, Bo, the fastest Buick Stocker in the world. Until proven otherwise. So, I'm going to try that out. I mean, I'm looking for things with wide wheels. This track does seem to cause some cars to flip over, so low weight stance. Uh, we want it to be heavy, but we want it to be low to the ground. And wide wheelbase and long is good too, so we're going to go with this as a test real quick. Car I picked up all because of Bobby D and Bubba. Known to be a fast car sometimes. I've tested it one time, it was inconsistent, but it's a beast of a car, so we'll give that a shot. Are you, I don't even know if you've ever even seen me run here. The one faster than ever V16 that I have. I mean, it's, it's a fast car, ain't no doubt. It just can't. The list I've got it included with just American made cars. So it's got Fairmonts and Marauders and Killers in it. So not in the top 15, but I mean, almost made for this track, I would think. And then. I would really love to see like a good American modern hot rod car went out there. It's like a fantasy car that's went out there the last two years. So that's what we're testing. Uh, we'll see what we're going to send. I'll probably send these one to three cars. I'm going to let the way too fast at one last time, not this one. Race in that race, I believe. So we'll see. And then you see some more things over here. Gotta get these bad boys out. Raced last weekend in Houston. Bayou City Bandits MDG Racing. And <laughs> shit. That was the first race I put out both cars first round, second race. Made it to the semifinals, eliminated by Devers, who dominated that race. I was finished first and second. Mathis picked up the win. This weekend, just to let you 
boys know now that's not going to be the case. These two go in there legit fast cars. I knew when I uh, sent those others, they had no shot, but I, you know, I got to support my boy. Then down here, I'm sure somebody's already peeked at these. As my shaky camera works, but on these are the five cars that I was already considering sending the King of the Mountain. Uh, me and the four oldest kids were all going to have two, but I didn't drag my ass long enough that it looks like we might just have one each if we all even get in. So that's gonna, that was going to be my car for sure. Got a good history. Fast car, Porsche Panamera E hybrid, whatever. Longest car ever. Gran Turismo. That Evo built before the fairy tale of Terry Hill. Faster than Terry Hill, too, I'm gonna say. The Rages. There's that super I built. Oh. And the V16. Look, it's scary. But that's what I was going to do. And just found out that deadlines moved up. These are cars I had wanted to start. You probably have seen that green one ran. It's been touched up a little bit. We're about to test all these new ones. Got that Bugatti. And it has to be racing wheels back there on that Camaro. And that's the one I got hopes for right there. Supra. Last but not least, Tomica GTR. Uh, let's get some some test runs in here real quick. Uh, show you what kind of what kind of speed we got on these bad boys. These are Roger Dodger 2.0s. It's the third annual race for Roger Dodgers he's had out there. First two years, I did not send anything that would compete. So. And after my performance last weekend, things have got to be better. Yeah. <laughs> thinking about this, my first time building these cars, Mathis has built these quite a bit, but made me think about your nightmare racing bow. Him and Bobby D's done both got hooked into the uh, modified scene now. I told them both. Start modding, you're gonna be stuck. And it definitely happened. Bo actually, neither one of them have outran, had outran their fastest car. So, Bo actually built a Unobtainium, which I've, I've probably got three of them cracked to build. I just never get to them, but this is kind of the time we got. We got the green and one, the purple, lane two. A little slow. Anyway, 206.5. The governors I sent last week were running 76, and so still pretty good. Time of the day, 2065. Not bad. Anyway, Bo's video showed him racing the uh, mod he did. And as it moved up through his list, he was like a little kid. He was so excited. And ended up dragging every car he's got's ass. And as somebody who's been through that process as a modifier, it is not easy. If you've got a fast stock collection, it takes some time to be able to build one that'll outrun it. And the excitement was cool, so it was cool to watch. Go check that out at Your Nightmare Racing Bo. Doing good things over there. Let's see. First actual test for. DCR cars, no idea how that Solar is going to run. We're about to find out right now. Here we go. Solar is going to run fast. 77 to 85. Oh, yeah, I want to write these down. Because. Ain't no way I'll remember. So, it's kind of my process when I'm testing. I'll write them down. Lane one, lane two, see who is more consistent, that kind of thing. 
So they just kind of helps make final decisions. Uh, 2077 for the Solar. How about that? And 2085 is not bad either. I really don't think that car that has been winning out there is faster than either of those. It's just stable. It's one of the other. Shoot, I don't even know what it's called. It's called pretty fast. But that track, the inside lane seems to have an advantage. So unless you got something that's a burner, it's gonna go back and forth until somebody crashes out. So run two. That's so there is heat, baby. Twenty seventy-three to an eighty-eight. It's crazy. I was expecting it to run pretty good. I didn't expect it to run that good. I think both of these bad boys will be going. Pretty much. I'm getting notifications like crazy. Probably emails coming through. But anyway. Next up. The fastest Buick Stalker in the world. And the Mr. Mom Matchbox Across America Corvette. Speaking of Matchbox Across America and Mr. Mom, I've been telling him I was going to send cars to race him for a year, maybe two years, and they're still packed up. That sucks. Are they coming in, they coming. Yeah, yeah, I know. You heard that a hundred times. It's all good though, man. We'll get up there. I wish I could just come out there and spend a day racing with you boys. That would be cool. You know, a little 12 hour drive, five kids and a wife. It's gonna get in the way. Here we go. Oh, yeah, that's Buick Stalker Pull. 2089, 21, 24. That's crazy. This vet just seems to have loose wheels on the back of them. It's like they just didn't get. The, I don't know if this one on the inside it's like the other vets that are similar for Matchbox. Have that little tension piece of steel that holds the axles down. I'm thinking this one's not tension enough. 95 to 18. Per. Terrible bubble. Terrible. So we know he ain't going. 2095. Let's do a stalker. Yeah. <laughs> Last of the test. Just getting a little bit of a behind the curtain look here. Me getting a little test time in. <sighs> I actually was in the middle of plans to set up the unnamed red pill fat track slash road course slash combo track but uh, had some things come up so we still ain't there race one's b16 in line in lane one in lane two modern classics ss matt Rowe. And 2077. That modern classics. See Bobby D. I believe in them. I would not buy them if not. They are fast. You, this one right here actually was not even close to sniffing my top 15. Camaros and uh, I don't even remember what I brought it out to race against. Yeah, was it? Don't know. But did a little re graphite on it, and then it started killing cars all of all of a sudden, just out of nowhere. So I 
think right now it's actually about number seven or so on my Camaro Firebird list, which I think there's only two Hot Wheels on the period. The rest are laser wheels, so that tells you it's a fast, fast bunch. Let's do it. 83 to a 91. There it is. Let's see what we got. I'm thinking we go in with the two Hotwoods cars. Because I don't have time to do all that testing. And the modern class. I'll either go back into their boxes or whatever they're going to do so they're going to be losers but we got our cars for the diecast racer x they go out in the morning boom they're going to join that way too fast go kick some ass i hope anyway let's see if we got any speed on these bad boys we're going to start it with the Bugatti. This thing I picked up at a yard sale for, for a quarter or 30 cent or something. Three for a dollar. Got them cold molded wheels I've put on it. It's, it's not super heavy. It's like 85 grams. But I had no clue what it was going to do. So Let's see. We'll see. This I've been trying to work on for a while to make it fast. It's shoot, I don't even know what it's called. There's a purple one right there too. I was working on. Where's the base? Don't know. Anyway, uh, it's got such potential with a long wheelbase and the big wheels. Maybe we've found it. Maybe we have got it. As of right now, we're gonna see it together. Together. Drop it low 2050s. That'd be cool. Anything in the 2050s? Good shit. Here we go. Disappointing. For both of them. 95 to a 75. Hmm. Think I really think it's here. Thinking this one is definitely going to be faster now. You can see they're still rough. I mean, this is where you build a car and it just takes off. So, kind of what you go through as good. It's running against the Tomika. It's a My Still vs. Tomika showdown. Big wide body cars, King of the Mountain, me. Not suited for them, but they ain't got fast uh, straight line speed. They definitely ain't suited. Let's see. Terrible. 88 to a 97. Garbage. Both of those have wide tires all the way around and when I put them, before I put them on, when I was polishing them, they were definitely rolling smooth. The Camaro actually sped up a lot. Went to a 20. 88. So, still got a little issue, but that's the thing about building these cars like you know Tomika's and Maestos is they don't always match exactly up so you'll have to take them apart and put them back together a few times so that or that inside of that tire hub rub 
doesn't actually bind up and slow it down, which could be what we got going on. So I know it was what was going on the first time that Camaro was running the 21s, 2135s or so. So we took it apart. And we definitely improved it. This is the car I've got the highest hope for right here. Loved Supras. I had a Celica GT as my first ever car and thought that Super was the coolest thing ever. So there's the Hot Wheels when I built and this is not focusing but that's the Matchbox. It ran, let's see, it ran faster than any, no the 350 ran faster than any of them you've seen out of this little bunch right here so far except the 350 with no interior and no weight. So put the super with them 50 it's on it from Hot Wheels car culture and we're gonna run it with them rally cat feet matchbox supra you look at them down there the stance didn't look the same but you can tell now they're the same love those cars Man, I'm hoping for some speed. I think we're gonna have it. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about. 2052. King of the Mountain. Peace out.